Now, what we're going to make in this tutorial is a water fountain that looks sort of like a pyramid. And, yeah, showing a preview right now. Now, what we need to make first is a long piece of plank or any real, any material, really. And what you make it go out every time like that. And here is a, just a small demonstration made of a lot smaller scale, obviously. And, um, yeah, just like that. And then you, you know, just quickly get rid of that. Or you can make it a smaller one. Just, you know, just a tiny little one. Just, it works well in small areas. Uh, just get a bucket, get rid of it. There. And fix it up. Now, for it to work, you don't really need any. It doesn't. It doesn't matter how big the plank. The I was just like pla wooden planks. Cause that's what I'm using. It doesn't really matter how long it is, but um, it is useful how long it is, and it, it has to be an odd number. And yeah, we, it has to be an odd number, so you, odd number, so you can get the point there. And um, yeah, you just fill it up like this until you get to the top. Unless you want to have a base, like like a secret base. Now I'm not that good at concealing it, which you'll find out soon. And yes, I am. Um, Making it like a base now, and see that one's hollow. The our one won't be, and this looks pretty cool if you just d take away the top because that's the only one I placed. And take it looks pretty cool if you take it away and just slowly waste away into nothing. Now, now. Once you've finished the one that's solid, like the, you just put the water in and then take all the stuff out. A lot easier if you have um, if you're on creative. And here we are with the finished product. And around the edges, I've filled that in, as you can see. And now I'll just do this part. Won't take too long. And yeah. And yeah, I'm just making the um the what's it called the entrance. And yeah, I've got to get the right colour. So it looks kinda weird. And uh yeah. That's it's pretty basic and little Pretty obvious, but you know, it's, it's me, so. <laughs> and, um, yeah, just make the door. Make an entrance, you can see it's hollow, and as you can see, I made the only three high with the roof. You could make a second floor if you had a, a bigger than I do, but it's it's fine the way it is. Just, um, and yeah, I'll just put a door there real quick. Now it's time for the water. And hopefully it doesn't go over that door, that platform you walk on. Hooray! It doesn't. And as you can see, it doesn't go straight through the edges. That only really happens if the thing is, if the pyramid, if the water fountain isn't is too big. But no worries, you can just cover it up, and make it look like it's meant to be like that. Still looks pretty cool. And yeah, I'm just trying to make it look good. It doesn't. I'm not good at designing it. Just bear with me here. Yeah, I know it looks crap. Don't judge. And obviously, I'm screwing it up. Anyway, I know it looks horrible, but anyway, um, there you have it. I'm no good at doing. I'm not. It says I'm. Not, I'm no good at designing. So, yeah, and here's the inside of it. 
just gonna yeah, there's a door there with a platform, a uh, pressure plate, and get a. I am a fan of glowstone, so I'll just put the edges in with glowstone, as you do. Now I'm doing an extra bit on the very sides to make it more like more of a wall sort of thing. And yeah, it's not like really need that last bit anyway. And because there's a pressure plate there. I'm just gonna like hide that part. And here is where the bed is going. I'll just make a little quick little spot for it. The bed there. Can okay, see the night. Uh, yeah, make it night time. Just testing it to make sure I don't end up half in the roof and you know and it works. So just I'll just quickly fix that up. And there you have it, a nice little bed there. And yes. And now I'm going to make a table. So sort of a table and chairs. Thing. No, it looks bad. I'm still gonna have the table and chairs, just not there. Uh, um. Yeah, that looks good. Looks like a good spot. Um, three by three, and put pressure plates on the top of it to act as a tabletop. I mean, back in the back back about a year ago, I used to put um, uh, what's it called uh, slabs there, but I didn't realize you could put pressure plates there and it would look good. So yeah, I'll just put the chairs in. Now, normally, if you're gonna put chairs in, you probably like put um signs on either side of the blank signs on either side of the chair so it looks like it uh, armrests but yeah I'm just gonna have uh, wooden planks symbolized as a corner and there you have it nice little table thing that does go down but hardly noticeable yeah hope you've liked this tutorial I mean, it's not that hidden, but, you know, it works.